The Chicago Bears didn't have a first round pick in the draft, but still had seven selections to get what they needed out of it to make their team better. Adding Cole Komet out of Notre Dame to the current log jam at tight end was an interesting selection to say the least. And I think Travis Gibson out of Tulsa has a good chance to be a really solid rotational player for this Bears defense. And I like how stout at the point of attack he is. And you want to talk about speed. Wide receiver Darnell Mooney out of Tulane has that in spades. I could easily see him becoming a core special teamer right out of the gate. What I liked most about the Bears draft was the fact that they invested heavily in the secondary with cornerbacks Jalen Johnson out of Utah and Kendall Vildor out of Georgia Southern. Johnson has the long arms and uses them really well in man coverage. He's able to close on the ball and uses that length to break up the pass. Vildor is able to shrink space all across the field. He flies down the run game quickly to close off gaps. And in the passing game, he's able to quickly shut what is perceived to be an open passing window down in zone coverage. So the Bears, to me, got themselves two really good corners. I also like the Latavia Simmons selection out of Tennessee State Bears GM Ryan Pace does a great job in scouting the small college prospects and Simmons is coming off of a standout week at the 2020 College Gridiron Showcase. In addition to what he also did at Tennessee State, he has excellent athleticism and moves like a tight end out there on the field. Dieter Eastland out of Yale is a good, fundamentally sound player who earned All-American honors this past season. He's a four-year starter at Yale. He also plays bully ball up front. His hands are consistently in the chest plate of the defender in the run game. And in pass protection, he has really good recognition skills and the ability to anchor as well. Staying in the FCS with defensive tackle Lakel London out of Western Illinois, he's another player who uses his hands very well. He wins the hands first battle against an offensive lineman and is able to hold his own in the gap, set the edge in the run game, and also push the pocket with length. I like his versatility as well, showing that he can play many different techniques up front. Artavis Pierce of Oregon State is a really good receiver, both short and down the field. He is very comfortable in the passing game and also brings added value in the return game. So there's a clearly defined role for him and perhaps a straighter path for him to make this roster. I gave the Bears a B- minus for their draft. I thought adding another tight end that early in the draft, considering the youth and talent that they already have on the roster, was a bit questionable, but I do like the fact that they were able to add some bonafide depth at corner with both Vildor and Johnson.